let's so now let's cut back and let's go back let's go to the s second mode and this one is probably my favorite ver one to do and that is the um, let's uh, we'll take all four of these real quick and I'm gonna just apply the grade that we're gonna do this is my favorite one and this is going to be through the ACES color space so essentially what ACES does is it basically deconstructs the all the different like your gammas and your color space it basically takes them all apart and builds them into a whole new different color space so this sort of helps streamlines the process uh, easy and this also can be done in DaVinci Resolve without any additional plugins and it's a pretty easy process to do so uh, I'm gonna show that to you guys right now it's a very similar process to what we did before and, but instead of going to like another familiar camera setting, we're going to be going through ACES. And you'll see the difference. So with this one, we have a C70, a Canon R5, uh, C70 again, and a DJI Mavic 2 Pro and D-Log. So we're going to do a very similar setup where we're going to add the color space transforms on 4 and 7. So let's start with the C70. We're going to go here and we're going to take this, which is Canalog 2, Cinema Gamut, and we're going to turn this into ACES. You're going to want your output color space to be ACES, and you want it to be ACES CCT, not ACES CC, because ACES CC is it's a much wider uh, gamma curve and it's a much more it's not really built designed to, for the workflow that we're doing it's really more for like very very um, wider dynamic uh, wider dynamic range um, deliverables and more Hollywood stuff so I would say all, go with ACES CCT as your gamma curve and we're gonna do that same thing over here we're gonna go ACES ACES CCT oh sorry wrong one cinema, Canon Cinema Gamut Canalog 2 ACES ACES CCT so we're getting sort of similarities there, and then we'll do the same thing ag again. Canon Cinema Gamut, Canon Log 2. And you know what, for fun, since this is raw, let's, let's switch this up. Let's say we're gonna go Canon Log 3. Let's say for argument's sake, we're gonna make Canon Log 3. So we're gonna s switch this to Asus uh, Canon Log 3 instead of Canon Log 2. And now we're gonna convert this to Asus, C and Asus CCT, and then finally DGI. So DGI Gamut and D-Log, and we're gonna convert this to ACES and ACES CCT. So now they're all together. Now, now let's get these into a more viewable space. So we're going to go ACES, ACES CCT, and then we're gonna, and bam, we're gonna put this in a Canon 709 uh, and we'll actually we'll leave the timelines this time as well. So now again, ACES, ACES CCT, and now we're going to go uh, 709. Make uh, I just like putting the color space in just so we can make sh just so the thing. Oops. Yeah. Oh, I set the wrong one. So this is supposed to be C log two. ACES, ACES CCT. And this one is supposed to be ACES, ACES, CCT, and then 709 timeline. And then, uh, see, sometimes I hate, uh, I hate the fact that it starts on the same timeline. This will make sense in just a second. Just get me, let me just fix this real quick. But yeah, you always want to make sure that the ACES conversion, so you're converting your formats to ACES, and then you're taking ACES and converting it to something. Now in the case, because of, uh, because of how DGI, the, the um, D-Log works, I'm going to make map this one to Cinema Gamut, uh, to Gamut 2.4, so it's a much more usable format. But don't worry, we're gonna fix this and we're gonna make everything work again. But as you'll see, especially if we, so like we got Canalog 3, 
10 log 2. So they're all, and then ACES CCC. But as you can see, just by doing ACES, all of them have the same aesthetic. If, like here, you can see her skin. Well, if we pull up her skin, because again, this is C log 2. We can pull that up, pull this up. The skin and everything behaves very similar. The, it's structurally, it's the same. This is why this is my favorite. Uh, this is my favorite color space. This is my favorite way to work of m matching shots. It just streamlines the process so much easier. So now, all you have to do now is like we did before. We just go back and tweak. Uh, we're going to tweak these things. So, like I said, I like starting with the HDR wheel. This is DGI D-Log and D-Gamut. So, I'm going to pull the highlights down. And then I'm going to raise these shadows, bring these shadows up. Pull those dark areas. I'm going to pull the dark areas up just a little bit. And we're going to pull the saturation, and we see that there's some saturations. So we're going to pull, and I like doing the saturations here. So you can pull the saturations down just so it's not so aggressive. But there you have it. And it's a very simple method, and it all works and it's like I said they're all sort of aligned up they got and that way you could start sort of building your look so now that you got everything lined up in a very similar 709 as you go from here to here the color space is very similar the looks are very similar So that is the second method of doing it. Again, it's the right in pl it's right plugged right into DaVinci Resolve, so you can use it anytime. Uh, if you guys have questions about that, let me know. Hey, Carl.